Hi everyone, this is Pete, and in today's video I want to show you a way to more efficiently place eye features. So eye features are really cool uh, features and little operations that you can add into inventor models that allow you to replicate common things that you use over and over again. So a great way to think of this is like a CNC pattern or something like that. But the problem is when you go to place it, if you've ever worked with eye features, a lot of times you have to edit a sketch and you have to control where the geometry ends up. And what I'd like to, to show you is that you can actually set it up so that you can do a point placement similar to an inventor sheet metal punch. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to make a simple welded stud. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to make a <clears throat> little box. Now it's also kind of interesting and important to potentially not put this right at the origin. I've not run into this, but I've heard of others who, if they actually reference the origin in their designs, it ends up goofing up the placement of the final eye feature. So I'm going to create this block. It's well off the origin. And then I need to set up a reference point. So this is a key, key concept here, is I'm just going to place a reference point along this loop of edges so that it's right there. And then I can create my sketch. So I'm going to first project the geometry, then I'm going to create my circle, and we'll say it's a quarter of an inch. So again, really simple example today. I'm doing this for the sake of time, and then we'll extrude that, say, I don't know, three quarters of an inch or so. And <clears throat> so like I said, I want this to be a welded stud, so I'm going to apply the threading to this surface. It should automatically pick it up as a quarter inch. I'll leave it as coarse threading go ahead and hit OK. So that's it. It's a really simple shape. You know, could I add a fillet here or a chamfer to simulate welds? Sure, I'm not going to do that, but we could. And I'm going to go ahead and extract this eye feature. So when I come up to the Manage tab and I extract the eye feature, I will pick the extrusion and notice it automatically picks the thread and I'm going to have a profile plane. So this is pretty normal for an eye feature, meaning I'm going to just stick it on a surface and then later on I can adjust where it needs to go. But if I include the work point, now I get to pick a face and I get to pick a point. Now there's lots that we could edit here as far as the, yeah, the name of it and the values and the sizing and I'm not going to bother with any of that, but I'll hit save. And then I'll just save this as threaded, whoops, stud, hit save. It might complain. I'm not worried about it. Cool. And then let's test it. So I'm going to start up a new part. I'll go ahead and make a bigger box this time. And for the actual placement bit, I can make this right at the center because I don't care. And then we'll go ahead and hit that. So we've got that shape. Now to kind of demonstrate how this works, just like with the sheet metal, I'm going to come up here and I'll place a series of points. Now obviously you'll be a lot more organized than I'm being, but just for sake of demonstration, I'll go ahead and, and place that. And then I will go to the Manage tab, or you can even do it from the 3D Model tab if you have Insert turned on. And I'll grab my threaded stud, hit Open, and notice my placement. Pick a face, pick a point. And now I can place that stud right there. So there's nothing to edit, so I can just hit finish, and there it is. That's what's really nice about adding that work point reference into your eye feature. Now it makes it available for the placement. And of course, from here, you could even uh, do your sketch-based pattern. I want to grab the eye feature. I'm going to stick it at every other point. So there you go. So like I said, it's a really slick way to kind of replicate the performance of a sheet metal punch, but with an eye feature out of the box. So hope that makes sense. If you have any questions or comments, let me know and have a blessed day.